All right, guys, welcome to another video. Um, I'm going to kind of show you my computer through Windows, I guess you can call it. Um, if you look down here on the right, you can actually see the computer. Oh, ready to play. Okay, perfect. I have a bunch of stuff open. Right here is the actual computer, if you can you can see it. Um, it's all Corsair, mostly all Corsair parts, So, but I'll go over that in this video. I'm going to kind of show you uh, the computer through Windows. So let's look up here. This is the CPU. It's an Intel Core, Intel Core i9 9820X CPU. It's a 10 core, 20 thread CPU, which is pretty much perfect for anything. Oh, all right, I have Origin up. That's one of my things I'm using. Keeps popping up on me, sorry about that. But anyways, this is, uh, and I have 32 gigs of memory for this computer. So 10, 20 core CPU, 32 gigs of memory. It's, it's, a, it's a fast computer, very fast computer. Don't know why it's doing this. It never used to, to, to um, use all my cores at 100%. So if anybody kind of lets me know why it's doing that, leave a little comment below. That would be great. I don't know why. It just started doing this uh, last week or it always was at 20 percent i'm only recording it's i don't know why it's using all my cpu cores but anyways all right so let's go to i'm going to go to the iq software this is what i use to kind of control all my fans and control the lighting through corsair because most of my stuff is corsair as you can see keyboard mouse the mouse isn't black it's actually white not sure why it's showing black it's in a white it's a white keyboard i mean a white mouse my headset white of course my little headset stand which is black the all-in-one cooler uh my memory and then i have a commander pro and lighting node pro that i that you have to get to hook up all the fans and the lights in the system so you can see if i bring up my keyboard here um, it's a white keyboard. It just shows you the lighting effects that I have, which you can change to lighting effects. I have the purple and the white set for now, but you can change to whatever you like. And then the mouse, like I said, it is it is white. I'm not sure why it's showing black, but it is white. Here's my headset. My headset stand. And then here's my all-in-one cooler. kind of wanted to show you this. Um, same thing, hit the lighting effects. You can go into and change the lighting effects of the cooler. And this is the actual pump, and these are the two fans, 120 millimeter fans. And then if you hit performance, this actually has presets for the fan speed. So I usually keep it at balance, usually. The pump I leave on extreme all the time, let that run pretty, pretty extreme. That way it's pumping that fluid. And the fans I change. If I'm gaming, I go to extreme. Everything else, sometimes I put it on quiet if I'm watching YouTube videos or just, you know, doing other stuff. I don't need the fans to ramp up. And then here's my memory. Same thing. Memory is just, you know, four dims. I think it's 32 megahertz quad channel memory. And you can see I have the purple and the white effects. And then I have four extra slots that I have not taken up. And then the um, Commander Pro. And these pretty much I use to just for the fan speeds of the case fans. I have three in the front, one on the one in the back, as you can see here. Three in the front and then one in the back. And usually I keep these, you know, quiet when I'm just on Windows. And then if I start to game, I'll, I'll crank it to balance. Usually, sometimes I go to extreme because they go up to 2,500 RPM, so they're pretty loud. You don't hear them because of the software I'm using. So let's go to my Lighting Node Pro. And then this is where I set up the lights for the fans and the lighting strips I have on the computer. So pretty good software. I like Corsair. It, it seems to run really, really well. And I just updated this too recently. So it, it works really well. And let me bring up NVIDIA RTX Voice. This is kind of new software that I use to kind of to edit out all the background noise. Because sometimes I'll have a Windows fan in or I'm going to have my uh, AC in the window at some point 
and that's pretty loud. And this kind of um, gets rid of all that background noise, which I saw a video on YouTube. One of the YouTubers posted this video, and since I have an RTX video card, I was like, wow, I got to get that. <laughs> and it works really well. I think it uses some sort of AI technology. I'm not really sure, but it works terrific. All right, speaking of my video card, let's bring up, where is it? There it is, Precision X1 from EVGA. My video card is a GeForce RTX 2080 Ti for the win 3 Ultra. They're at, they do make for the wins, and I think they do make for the wins too, but oh, Origin is updating its game, so sorry about that. It's going to keep popping up, but that's okay. So this software you use to um, overclock, and then you can actually set the fan curves that I have set automatically, so that way I don't have to worry about them. When I start gaming, the heat rises, my fans will will uh, will boot up and keep the card fairly cool. It'll get. I think I've had it up to sixty, maybe C. So this computer case is small, but it, it those front fans really blow a lot of air over that card so it works very well so i set all these up and then just leave it and it runs in the background and i don't have to worry about anything about the video card the fans ramp up and they ramp down which is very nice very very nice all right so what else do i have running here um i have steam i use that a lot for my games i think everybody familiarized with steam and they also have another one called origin which is another software that you use. And I pay, I think, 60 bucks for this. But um, I had a lot of free games I could use. It's 60 bucks a year, so yeah, works out. These are all free games that I can play through that prescription. There's a lot more games, too, that you can actually use. But that's one of my other programs I use for gaming. And then let's bring up Lightworks. This is what I use to edit and create videos that I'm learning to do. I'm just learning to do this, so bear with me. I'm a beginner. So this one is my car that I have off island. I'll play a little. Ooh. Ooh. There it is. <laughs> I took a video of it off island. Sorry about that loud, but... I'll, I'll finish that at some point. And this one I actually finished. I actually uploaded this video. Let me start it from here. But just for now, I'm just making some a little videos clip of it. And, uh, I hope you all enjoy it. I'm just learning this software. And so relax. Bear with me. I'm not an expert, but all it's right. still fun. Show you a little clip of it. Don't want to spend too much time. So that's Lightworks. Um, you can download it for free, and but uh, to actually get more out of the software, you got to pay. Of course, nothing's free. I paid right now. I pay twenty five bucks a month on this computer and another computer that I use for editing. And once I get more familiarized with it, maybe I'll. I'm just learning it, so maybe I'll actually buy it outright. But not cheap. Not cheap. Not cheap at all. All right, so let's go to my hard drives I have on this computer. I have four internal hard drives, and I have one external that I use for backup. And I, I, ha I use an external because I can move it around to my other computers because I do have two other computers that I have. So it's a Seagate 5 terabyte hard drive, backup hard drive, where I keep all my recordings on and music or whatever. Whatever you need, you, you back it up. I think you should back up everything. And I actually, I have two other backups. I, I back it up to here, and then I plug it into another computer, and I back it up onto another hard drive. There I have a couple of mechanical hard drives and my other computers that I use for backup. So I try to keep mechanical hard drives for backup, and I try to use SSDs for um, gaming and Windows and stuff like that, other software that I use. So C and D are my... Let me bring up, I can kind of show you. I think they're Samsung, Evo. I'll bring up Magician software from Samsung. Uh, let me scroll up. Yeah, they're the 
970 EVO Plus, one terabyte NVMe hard drives. That's C and D right here, C and D. So Windows and then gaming and programs that I run. And you can see the uh, the read and write speeds for these, you know, very nice, very nice. And then I have my other, these are MV, NVMe drives. I have two more NVMe drives right here. And these are hooked up through the PCI Express 3.0 slot because I only have two MV, NVMe slots on my motherboard. So I use them up. So I had to use some expansion cards and those are right here. There are a data, I believe, one terabyte NVMe hard drives, SSDs. So, but you can see the read and write speeds are a little bit lower than the Samsung ones, but that shows you, cause these shows you how, why I think Samsung SSDs used those two 970 Evo plus for 200 and something dollars compared to the to these, which were only about $120. But still, those read and write speeds are terrific. Can't complain about those. And then these two right here, the extra gaming and extra extra gaming are my 2.5 inch SSD. Um, those are crucial, I believe, 2.5 inch, two terabyte hard drives. And those I keep for games. Oh, crap. Nope, 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 nope. Go drive information. And those are right here. You can see their uh, read and write speeds are a little bit lower than an NVMe drive. So that's why those NVMe drives are so much faster and a little more money. But, but as, I think these two drives cost me about $220 a piece. So, But I got four terabytes, so... But that's Samsung Logistics software, which works really well with Samsung drives, and it does show you the other drives. It doesn't show you temperatures, but on the Samsung drives, it does. It shows you the temperatures and the health of it, and then you can update the uh, form firmware too. But that's Samsung Magician, great software. So basically, I have four terabytes of NVMe storage, and I have uh, four terabytes of regular 2.5 inch SSD storage. So that's eight terabytes of SSD storage. So uh, very, very nice. This computer was not cheap. So I wanted top of the line. And right now it's probably, well, it's still top of the line. I mean, still a very, very decent computer. Well, Origin keeps popping up. Let me get rid of that. Uh, what else can I show you guys? I do have CPU mo monitor software. I will bring that up. I I like to keep a lot of things monitoring software on the background because I'm just kind of weird like that. My CPU temperatures, I like to see what my CPU is doing. And then CPU Z is kind of a, you know, got your motherboard and memory and graphics. I mean, you can do all kinds of stuff with this. This is just kind of like a, a monitor monitor software that I use. And this is CPU HW monitor software that I, 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 I don't know. I don't usually use this a lot, but it has a little more information than like CPU Z or real temperature. It shows you like CPU usage. Um, it shows you what the cores are doing. 4.1, yep. 10 cores, yep. The temperature, it has a lot more information than these two so once in a while I, I will use this but good software all right what else did i forget i hope i didn't forget anything else um that's folding at home which i use to fold with i don't know if you guys are familiar with that let's bring this up i'll show you my little youtube channel real quick i'm just learning it so bear with me it's a beginner's channel i guess you can call it <laughs> Nothing near like some of those YouTubers. But here are my videos that I've been recently uploading. Mostly gaming videos, but I'm going to try to get some computer videos up there. But as you can see, way back when, I, I think it was, yeah, five years ago. Yeah, it was a while, four years ago. I haven't, I haven't uploaded anything in a while. Here's my uh, 
This is my NVIDIA surround. Project cars. Look at that. Rewind. And I had three 24 inch minute monitors and NVIDIA surround that I used. But now I don't have that anymore, actually. I kind of changed my monitor setup. And this is the computer that I use for that that monitor setup, which I don't, I took down. Water cooler, it was all water cooler, nothing fancy, but water cooler has come a long way now. So anyways, that's my YouTube channel. Not much, but I'm working on it, work in progress. So origin is finished or what? I'm gonna close that out for now. I think it's all finished updating. Um, I think I covered everything. I don't know if I covered OBS. Yeah, I think I did that already. But anyways, that's the uh, that's the computer through Windows. Um, let me know what you think. It's a very expensive computer, as you can see, it has a lot of high end parts. But I can do pretty much anything I want with it. It ain't no, you know, 30, 30, what is it? 32 core, 64 threads. Some of these computers that are out there, but 20 cores is, is quite a bit. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching and I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one. All right. Take care.